Howdy folks, Spencer here, and today I want to go through and show you the Vandy Shields that you can purchase in the Dilithium store during the limited time Vandy Shield events that they run. All of these Vandy Shields are originally from lockboxes, and they're a gamble within a gamble to obtain, because to get them from a lockbox, you have to get a weapon pack from that lockbox, and then when you open the weapon pack, it's a very small chance that you can get one of these Vandy Shields and you have to find the right weapon pack for each Vandy Shield to even have a chance at it. So it can be a bit of a pain. So many of these are available via the player exchange for energy credits. However, many of them will cost hundreds of millions of EC because of the tedious process to go out and get them. And the other issue is for the ones that you would purchase with EC or obtain from lockboxes, they are bound to whatever character you put them on, whereas the ones that you can get from the Lithium store during these limited run events that they do are bound to a, your account. And what that means is you can use your account bank to move them between your characters. So these Lithium ones are definitely much better than the traditional variants that are bound to the one character. The issue is that these are very expensive. The base cost of these is going to be 280,000 dilithium per. There's 10 of them in here, which means that if you wanted to go through and pick all of these up at the base cost, it would cost you about 56 bucks worth of Zen. Now, if you're in a fleet with a completed dill mine, you can go through and get a 15% discount on these, meaning that each of them would be 238,000 dilithium. But still, if you wanted to go through and pick up all of them, that would still be fairly expensive. That would still be right around 50 bucks worth of Zen. So I would not recommend that you go out and pick all of these up given that's $50. And I really do not think that these are worth 50 bucks, but I do want to go through and show you which of them you may want to consider because there's definitely one or two that you may be interested in. Now, some of these do have different appearances depending on the faction, specifically the Discovery one will have a different appearance depending on if you're aligned to the Fed side or KDF, and same for the Kelvin Divergence. So I will go through and take a look at those at the end of this video. I have the exact same ship set up in the same map over on a Klingon character. So I am on the triple test server. I did not actually use my resources to buy these things because for me, I don't really think they're worth it. They're, they're like five bucks per basically. And I just, I feel like there's better things I could spend my money on. So uh, I am going to at least get this here for those of you that are interested in this. So you know which ones are the ones you should not buy. So first up, we're going to take a look at the Zenkethi Vandy Shield. And before I do this, I should mention I'm in a Yorktown here, the so it's an Odyssey class, the most popular ship in Stow. And the map that I'm in is the Delta Quadrant version of the Dyson Sphere, which just has really good lighting at all angles. So I can really show you how each of these shields impacts your ship. Here is the Zenkethi Vandy Shield. Here it is front on, from the right side, from the rear. Let's get that at a few different angles here. And I think this is the angle you'd most commonly see like when flying the ship from the left side, top down and from below. So I think a common trend you're going to see is that on, especially some of these Federation ships, some of these Fandy shields just really do not look that great. And the Zenkethi shield looks good on some of the alien ships and some of the ships from other factions, but on a fed ship, I don't know if it's really something that I'd recommend. You see, it's got this neat little pattern, though, like the Zenkethi ships have. Your nacelles are white, of course. Some of you may like this, but for me, that is one that I would probably not pick up if I was flying just a fed, fed build like this. And next up is going to be the Discovery Vandy Shield. If you're on the fed side, like this character is, it will give you the appearance of the Crossfield class. And if you're on a Klingon character, it would give you the visual of the sarcophagus. So this one, 
is the appearance of the crossfield basically just transferred over to the odyssey here it is front on from the right side and you can see it's had a bit of an impact on the the nacelles there also from the rear from the left top down and from below now a reminder this is a Federation unique Fandy shield, um, or at least this this uh, approach to it, because the the KDF version of this Fandy shield is completely different. In fact, let me just go over and swap and show you the difference now of what that looks like on a KDF character. And I'll just uh, spoiler it a little bit right now. It doesn't look as good on a KDF side, on the KDF side. So let's take a look at the Discovery one on a KDF. Again, Discovery Vandy Shield. And this is how it would look if you're on a KDF aligned character. Here it is front on. From the right side. From the rear. From the left. Top down. And from below. So I, I think that this is a Vandy shield that they should have split into two because I imagine that there's some of you on the Fed side that would like to have this type of visual on some of your more alien ships. But on a Fed ship, it doesn't really look that good here. Um, but for like, a, like I said, for those of you on like some, some alien ship, lockbox ship or something, that doesn't really look like every other Fed ship in the game. Um, this Fandy Shield may look a bit more appealing. Head back over to my Fed. And wait for it to load. But again, like I said, I, I think that that Discovery Vandy Shield, they should have split it off into two just so that there was nothing locked, you know, to each of the factions. And again, this is how that exact same Vandy Shield looks on a Fed character. Quite different from that KDF one. Next up is the Ferengi Vandy Shield, and I think you probably know where this one's going. It's giving you that Ferengi orange appearance. Here it is front on. From the right side. From the rear. Left side. Top down. And from below. So it's a very much a very orangey skin and probably not going to be the best thing for your standard fed ship like the Odyssey class here, but I'm using the Odyssey class as the, the, the ship to show these off because it's the most popular ship in the game. And I think, you know, how this appears here will, will give you a good idea of how it's going to appear on other ships. Next up is the Herc Vanity Shield. So this is going to be a bit of a green tint, and you're going to see this Herc pattern appearing on the ship at various points. Same for the, the black area here around the uh, various edges there. The, the Herc material is a little bit different. It's not quite flat looking. So here it is front on from the right, and the nacelles are green from the rear. You see that Turk texture quite a bit there under the engines. From the left, top down, and from below. So another one that I think I could say is not going to be for everyone, but maybe you're into it. And next up is the Emperor's Vandy Shield. This is one of the more popular ones, I would say. This is going to make your ship a bit gray and it's going to turn your nacelles yellow and from some angles it does not look terrible like the the rear the rear view here you know if you were flying the ship it doesn't look that bad for for some people they quite like this aesthetic here's from the left top down and from below so not for everyone but i think this one looks a bit more appealing than most of the previous ones I've shown you. Next up, we have the Section 31. This and the Ba'ul are probably the two most popular. 
And it's because they make your ship, you know, quite a bit darker and they give you, or they, the, the cells, you know, stay a blue color. Um, so here it is front on, you see the, the texture too is really interesting. It's like a really like nice stealth coating on your ship, basically. Here's from the left. Here's from the rear. Left side, top down, and from below. So the Section 31, you know, they're a spy organization. And to me, this this gives it like a little bit of like a stealth coating on your ship is what this is trying to go for. Next up, we have the Kelvin Divergence Fandy Shield. And for this one, if you're on a fed character, it will give you the appearance of the Kelvin Heavy Destroyer. And if you're on a Klingon character, it'll give you the appearance of the Kelvin D7. So here it is front on. Here it is from the right. And notice these nacelles. I really do not like what it does to the nacelles here. That just really looks like a really bad texture there. Here it is from the rear. Left side, top down, and from below. So I think for for this Kelvin one, it's really hard to recommend um, unless you really like this like lighter gray color scheme on your ships, like the nacelles don't look good. Like what it does here to these nacelles just looks terrible. So I don't think I could recommend this one at all. Again, that was the Kelvin Divergence Fandy Shield. Let me show you what the KDF version looked like. The, the Klingon one um, is completely different. And again, I think rather than having these locked behind each of the factions, they should have made it so uh, either side could get them, you know, break them into two different Fandy Shields. Here is how the KDF version of that looks. This is giving you the appearance of the uh, Kelvin D7. So it's a bit of a green tint, red deflector, like you would see on a Klingon ship. There's front on. There's from the, the, the right side. And the nacelles with this Klingon version are just so much better. Like there's actually some unique pattern, go unique patterns going on in there. From the rear, from the left, top down, and below. So the Klingons definitely went out on this one, and hopefully in the future, Cryptic can go through and make it so that fed characters can get this version of the Kelvin Divergence Fandy Shield also, because that fed version that's based off the Kelvin Heavy Destroyer honestly really does not look good. But the D7 version that the Klingon uh, side players can get actually looks pretty interesting. I don't think I'd necessarily use it on the Odyssey class, but I think that this would look really neat on a variety of ships. Let's head back over to the Fed character. Wait for it to load again. And then there's that very terrible quality fed version that they have here of that Kelvin divergence again. Really quite a quite a difference between that one and the, the KDF one. Next up, we have the Borg Vandy Shield. Now, before I put this on, this is going to disappoint some of you. And right off the bat, I'm going to state that it's a little bit misleading. It's not Borg, like Borg Borg. It's... It's uh, giving you the appearance of the liberated Borg Command Juggernaut, which does not look like your normal Borg uh, ship. So let's put this on. And this is what it does to your ship. It, it's very much not your traditional Borg style. Here it is front on. And I'll say too, it looks like the textures aren't really... From a, from a distance, they don't look that high quality on some of these parts, but when you get in closer, 
this looks neat, but it doesn't look that high, highly detailed. I don't know, just the, from a, from a distance, it definitely looks a bit weird, but when you get closer, some it looks fine. But some parts of it definitely look not the most detailed, especially around that deflector. Okay, here's the right side. And if I get closer, you can see some like paneling on the side of the ship. The, the nacelles have this really neat color scheme going on under them. Here's the rear. Here's the left side. Top down and below. So I don't think that this is the worst Vandy shield out there, but I do think that it's very misleading. You know, people that go through and pick up this Borg Vandy shield are expecting it to make their ship look Borgified, and it doesn't do that. So keep in mind, if you pick this one up, it's not giving you a Borg appearance. It's giving you a liberated Borg appearance. If you want an actual like Borgified ship, you would want to get to the Omega Reputations assimilated set. So the assimilated deflector engine and uh, shield, which I can grab for you quick. I'm over on the triple test server, so all of these projects will complete much faster. And I didn't have to spend any dilithium to, uh, to buy these Vandy shields because some of these really are not worth the, the money, in my opinion. But if you wanted to really Borgify your ship, you'd want to grab this assimilated set from the Omega rep. And what you'll see as I go through and put those pieces on like the assimilated Vandy shield, or it's not a Vandy shield, it's an actual shield. The assimilated regenerative shield array from the Omega reputation will actually like Borgify your ship. Like it'll give you some of that Borg texturing that you're expecting. It just doesn't look the most detailed. But then you also have an engine component and a deflector, which I can show you here also. Here is the, the engine. And that adds a little bit to your your engine there and we'll change the 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 trail of your ship sometimes oh yeah here it did so it added a big piece on top of that nacelle and it added a piece to the back of that engine that is shooting out that green trail and then the deflector will actually add like a borgified deflector to your ship so when i'm thinking a ship's been borgified and when you see one that's like Borgified, it's not actually this Borg Vandy shield. It's the assimilated uh, deflector engine and shield from the Omega Reputation. The actual Borg Vandy shield that you're getting from, from this is not giving you that appearance. Again, I'll show you what the Borg one looks like. Very misleading. The actual Borg Vandy shield looks like this. Doesn't really look Borgified at all. I think it looks neat. I just think it's misleading. Next up, we have the Baal Vandy Shield. This is also, well, like this and the Section 31 are probably the two most popular Vandy Shields. And this is how it looks. Here's front on. From the right. The rear. Left. Top down and below so the bowl is like a really smooth dark color on your ship your nacelles are still blue um this is definitely one of the most popular bandy shields but i think a lot of people hype it up you know for for just be making your ship you're making your ship look really black but it's not going to be a color scheme for everyone and the last one here is the Zat Vash. This is giving you the appearance of the Delkina. The Delkina is the Romulan ship that you saw in the season one finale of Picard. It's a really good ship, but the Vandy Shields and the stock appearance of that is not going to be for everyone for sure. In my opinion, though, I will say that this looks more Borgified with that green coloring than the actual Borg Vandy Shield did, especially that deflector. So here it is, front on, from the right. Not a big fan of the nacelles where it's that like hexagon in there. And the lines over here don't look great. From the rear. Left. Top down. 
and below. So I definitely don't think this one's for everyone, but maybe if you're into that type of aesthetic, then maybe that would be something for, for you to consider. But I also have to state, you know, as nice as many of these vanity shields are, you can make your ship look quite good with different color schemes just by playing around in the ship tailor. There's many different ways to, to make your ship a different color in there. And you can do that for free most of the time, you know, if you own the ship. So you might have to buy to unlock some of the other variants of the ship, but you can get a lot of customization done in there. And these lithium vanity shields, like most of them, to be honest, I, I think most of these did not look good that good. I thought some of these looked really quite terrible. Again, like that Kelvin Divergence one. If I was on a Klingon character, I'd I'd consider spending money on it. But this this Fed version, like, would you pay five bucks for this? Like, would you really want to pay five bucks to to make your ship look like this, especially with the detail that they have on the nacelles? Like, it just some of these don't seem to be worth the money to me and. Hopefully this video has shown to you which ones you may want to consider or which ones you may want to avoid, but I'm not going to keep you guys too long here. There's still about a day left to take advantage of the current Vandy shield sale that's going on for the holiday sales. And that will end on January 2nd, 2023. There will be more Vandy shield sales in the future, but there'll usually be a limited run for like a week or so. And they'll just pop up at random times throughout the year. So definitely keep your eye out for any future sales. If you miss out on the one going on right now during the 2022, 2023 holiday event that they have going on. Um, but yeah, I think most of these can be avoided. If I was on a Klingon character, I'd really consider that Kelvin divergence one. The Borg one, I think actually looks pretty cool. It's just misleading. But the bowl and section 31 are definitely the most popular. And some of these may look a little bit better on alien ships. The Odyssey is just the most popular ship in the game. So that's what I use as the platform to show these. But I think if you're using some more alien ships that don't have the standard Federation style of ship design here, you may find some of these vanity shields work a little bit better. I don't have time to go through and show the Vandy shields off on all like 500 ships in the game, but that's going to be it for this video. Again, thank you to all channel, mem channel members and viewers for the continued support. I think I'm missing a few of the gifted members from last night, so I apologize and I'll get those added after this video, but that's going to be it for this video here today. Hopefully this has been helpful. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to drop them in the description down below until next time. See you guys around.